things and I'm currently in Germany in a hotel room so my lighting is going to be a tad bit suspect right now as is my camera angle. Hopefully this isn't blurry. Let me check to see if it's on autofocus. It's on autofocus so it should not be blurry. So today the EA live stream just happened the grand opening here at Gamescom. Unfortunately I wasn't able to attend that because I didn't get on the list in time and apparently I think it's more so because I did coin sponsor. Although I do still get to play the game and I get to do EA play tomorrow but that's totally okay. I understand that. So I am here at Gamescom. Um, it's my first day I got here. I've been like flying and it's been crazy and I'm just here. I'm late anyway. I got here pretty late in the first place and so tomorrow I'm going to be playing FIFA 17 and all the EA games but today I have to go over some of the stuff that's come out because there was some huge news and some huge bombs they dropped on us. For one, there are new legends coming out which are going to be awesome and the ones I know that there's a whole I think there's like eight in total or something like that. The ones I care most about obviously I started watching football more so like four years ago, so I have kind of like an idea of players from my kind of time now, not from before, although I know them now because I play FIFA and I learn about them, but I got Ferdinand, the man Ferdinand is going to be a legend, which is huge, and then Puyo is going to as well, so I think that is insane. There's eight in total. Let me see if I can go through. We have... Uh, Carragher, we have Del Perro, Ferdinand Hernandez, Overmars, Puyo, Scholes. I'm not gonna say that name because I'm not gonna get it. So, yeah, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna get it. You know what I'm talking about. It looks like Petit and Veron. I've totally probably butchered those names, but that is amazing that they're adding the two legends that I'm the most excited about. Let me know who you're the most excited about in the comments down below. That isn't even the beginning. They gave us a whammy of a freaking pack animation and I'm kind of iffy on that pack animation because I'm starting to think is that a little bit like the Pez pack animation? I mean let me, let me know guys is that a little bit I mean the guy like it's cool the card pops up you get like the uh, position you get the rating and then it's like boom BVB and you get to see what team they're gonna be on so imagine I mean at the moment you get the 94 rated you're gonna know it's messy before the Barcelona match even pops up I imagine that you would know that that's messy but then you're like oh shit because he comes walking from around the card and then he just like what if it was pulled button they just had him go down like that would be crazy which I don't think that they're gonna do anything like that but it reminds me of Pez because on Pez you have the animation where like you see the ball and it comes up and they're either like doing a certain thing and they're moving so it's kind of like that but I understand FIFA did like a completely different idea of it. They walk around. It looks awesome. I'm actually really excited about that pack animation although will it take too long because in the other FIFAs like it took I'm sure you can do a skip pack which is easy but will it take too long is the problem that I'm kind of worried about because in the other ones when it takes too long it takes you know you're opening packs for ages when you're trying to get through 12k FIFA points it's going to take you an hour instead of what should take you probably 20 to 30 minutes. The biggest thing I want to talk about that's huge though is the squad builder challenges. There's a whole other thing. There's foot champions. I'll save that to the end. But squad builder challenges, they finally are bringing something to ultimate team that gives you a reason to build squads and it's kind of if I do say so myself, it's kind of an idea off of YouTubers who do squad builders, but that could be just me, but squad builder challenges, so they give you like different challenges that you try to go for, and you don't, like you get groups, you can do them in groups and different things and so on and so forth, but you start with the first one, say you have to make a hybrid that has like 90 chemistry at least and has certain players from certain leagues, you do that and you work your way up, and in the end, you buy them, you can either pack those cards, so you need to work to pack those cards all year, you can get them from the transfer list, but in the end, you trade them in, which is kind of shitty because what if you really wanted the card that like it gets for it or whatever you're going for like a certain thing I don't know if it gives you like a full on I'm pretty sure it says if you do this you get this card and they showed like a, a blue and pink card um, and so that was really cool that you can do that but if it's just giving you a random prize at the end that would be a little iffy so I think they actually tell you what you're gonna get but you trade all those players in and then voila it pops up but then you lose all those players so what if you weren't paying attention like me you were blonde and you put like somebody awesome on there and you're like oh I just, he just fit for the chemistry reasons and then poof, he's gone so you have to pay attention apparently you have to pay attention to what you're doing but it gives you so many different opportunities to do different squad builder challenges which will be huge for you the viewer in general but it'll also be way amazing for youtubers too because you know we need that like the draft was awesome for content now squad building now you have a reason like I just come up and I'm like hey I'm gonna make a strawberry lemonade squad but now I'll have a reason to change it and try to make hybrids and make it more interesting and more just crazy like you have no idea how excited I am about that and then the fight champions like I'm kind of excited about the fight champions yeah I mean it reminds me a little bit of like um, doing competitive in Call of Duty because you know or anything League of Legends they have it 
So you play in different, um, you play in different tournaments, I take it, or you just do different things and you go, I think, from what I saw, it was like a bracket, so you play in a tournament, and like, based on how well you do during that, you get into like, some kind of league for the weekend. I don't really know how it works just yet. I'm trying to figure it out. Obviously, I'm gonna have to read up more on it, but it, I mean, for one, if you're gonna get into it, you ain't gonna have weekends no more, but uh, you could in easily end up trying to go for, I think you can go anywhere from bronze to like elite, so you can be in different leagues, and that's gonna be huge, because people want that so badly in FIFA right now. They wanna be able to have a competitive aspect. I know that competitive FIFA is something that people have been looking into, they've been wanting more and more, and it started to get really big last year with people like Huge Gorilla and stuff like that, but now you can have your chance, just like people do in like Call of Duty and stuff like that, where you can just work your way up to the very top, and if you're like, at the top of the Elite League, you have a chance, I think, to do the Interactive World Cup and stuff like that. So hopefully there's not cheating in that, because you know that kind of happens. I'm pretty sure in the Interactive World Cup there's a little bit of cheating that goes on. Do not quote me on that, but I feel like there is, but hopefully that we'll be able to get past that. But that's cool because it gives you a reason, like someone like me, like I'm gonna want to try to at least get, I imagine I'll go bronze, silver, gold, something, something, I don't know, Elite at the end. I want to like want to be in Gold? I think that's like my overall what I don't want to be like somewhere. I don't want to be in bronze. I most definitely don't want to be a FIFA YouTuber and be in bronze. So it's going to give me a reason to want to like play harder, try harder, play on the weekends. Screw going out on the weekend. I'm not even going out anymore. I'm just going to sit down and play FIFA so that I can possibly be like high rated on there, which is totally awesome. I'm not like, I didn't get too in depth on that right there, but that was something that when I saw that I was like, Phew. That's not as exciting as the squad builders. I think the squad builders are far more exciting, but it is still pretty awesome. Like the final thing that I think I remember seeing anything about was the custom kits. Now I thought that they were gonna do custom kits more so than what I saw in there. I saw that there were some special ones for people like Zed and some of the different artists and stuff like that, but I thought that they were gonna have like hashtag united, maybe like the sideman stuff in there. Maybe that's something that can be added in. I feel like they could easily, if they wanted to, they could do some kind of custom kits that can be added in, but I thought that that was just awesome that they've got it. Like this year, last year when EA announced the stuff that they were doing, I didn't think it was that exciting, but this year so far, just seeing it, I haven't even got to play it, tomorrow I'll get to play it, but just seeing it has been just out of this world, so I'm hoping and praying that tomorrow when I play the game, I'll get to get a little bit of feel for what's going on. I've not even like touched the Frostbite engine, so I'm really excited about that, but what happened in that, I need you guys to let me know. In the comments down below, how excited are you about FIFA from what you've seen so far? Is any of it disappointed you? Does any of it make you happy? Let me know all that in the comments down below, but so far, for me being and seeing like what's happening on Twitter and what's happening with the new game modes and how much they're trying to add in stuff to Ultimate Team, of course they've also done stuff with career mode that's gonna be big, but for me, I'm like, I'm debating career mode. I want you also to let me know in the comments down below. I'm debating trying to do a career mode, maybe being like a manager of some sort. Let me know if you want to see that for me on YouTube next year. I might do it because you know I'm starting this series with at least Path to Pele. Um, but I could also maybe try that out. Let me know that in the comments down below. Do you want to see Fangs do career mode? You need to put hashtag Fangs career mode so we can see that. But I am super excited about some of these features that I've seen for Ultimate Team. We've needed something new. The draft was new. They need to keep adding stuff in to just keep it like fresh and keep it hot. And all these new tournaments that they're gonna probably be doing. I think they'll have like daily ones and daily rewards. It's gonna be awesome. If you're a FOT user, hopefully this year you will not get bored and it will keep you going. But I'm super excited. This is kind of, I guess, like my reaction video, I guess. In my hotel, my reaction video. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That's going to be it for this video, though. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I have a vlog going live on Friday when it shows, like, all my Gamescom stuff that I did. So I'll let you guys know how the gameplay and everything was on Friday when you see that vlog. If you did enjoy this, smash that thumbs up button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.